12th and Saturday, November 8th. We're set up here, uh, overlooking this little pond. We've been hunting here a couple of times. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's about 7.30 right now in the morning. We're overlooking a little pond. We've been seeing a lot of bucks, young bucks cruising through here looking for does. We actually couldn't even get to the stand this morning because we had a small buck coming through. Something comes by saying that uh, will give us a shot. After another rough start to the archery season, we decided we needed to change stand locations. We were hunting a creek bottom and moved to a hillside that was in a valley surrounded by corn fields and soybean fields. Unfortunately, during this hunt, we were cut a little short because of one of the farmers cutting his corn field. However, luckily for us, the season was just starting to heat up.
<coughs> I missed it. Well, after watching the footage, we were able to determine that my arrow hit a branch and deflected right over his back for a clean miss. However, this wouldn't be our last encounter with this same exact buck. Well, for most of November, we decided to keep the same stand location by the pond. But, being that this next hunt was the very last day of the season, Dave and I decided to pack our climbers up and hunt a piece of the farm that we've never touched before. It's November 15th. The day has finally come. It's the last day of archery season in Pennsylvania. I'm set up somewhere new. Um, I gambled and went to a completely different area. I know there's a lot of does, so hopefully um, a buck is tra trailing one of these does. I'm sitting on a quad trail and um, I'm on the corner of a, a cornfield and I know they go out there to feed at night, the does do at least, and it's real thick behind me. So I'm hope hoping they, can, they come out of that, that thick cover and walk right past me so I can shoot one and kill something. <laughs> Uh, since it's the last day, I'm probably going to shoot any legal book. Um, hopefully it's not something extremely young or small, but it's time to, to fill the freezer. So I don't have a doe tag, and I would like to kill something with my bow. So hopefully I get lucky tonight. I'm down to the last day. <laughs>
Yes, my first archery buck. He's not huge, but we had a history with that buck. David missed him about three days ago. He hit a limb and it went right over his back. I can't believe he just came in. I had one spot where this trail crossed this quad trail right in front of me, where I had the camera facing and he walked right into it and I let it fly. And he just dropped right there. He went 30 yards. Yeah, baby. It is 4.52 on the last day of the season. The last 30 minutes of the last day. And he came in perfect. I'm gonna climb down, because he's down right here, I see him. So I'm gonna climb down, get a hold of David, <clears throat> and uh, go get him. What a night. That's the only deer I've seen all day. <sighs> you good? Good? All right, well we just, I just got out of the tree, and we're gonna follow the blood trail. I saw him go down, but I'm gonna find my arrow and follow the blood trail, and we're gonna go get him, so let's go. Okay, I can't do this because I can't see anything. <laughs> Here, I will just show some blood or something. Oh man. Dude, this rage did work. Hypodermic. Oh my god. Look at that. Well, here he is. The last day of the 2014 archery season. This seven point came through at about 4.52. 10 minutes left in the season. And I smoked him at 15 yards. Uh, I was self-filming tonight and I was able to get everything on uh, film. Uh, everything turned out pretty good. It, it was a hard shot. He only went 40 or 50 yards. Um, this buck has a good storyline behind it. Uh, a few days ago, David missed this buck at 30 yards due to a deflection. Uh, there's a branch right in front of him that skipped right over his back. And then tonight, about 4.30, uh, the buck was right in front of David's stand, but he couldn't get a shot off and he walked right towards me. And uh, I let one fly. So. This concludes my my 2014 season. I'm all tagged out, but uh, I'm sure we got a lot more adventures down the road.